Hi everyone, welcome back to the Blonde Psychic channel. I am starting with my group clustered love readings for July. I apologise in advance if there's noise in the background. I'm a mum, I have a partner, they both play Fortnite, the kids play Fortnite, the dogs, I have three dogs, so it might be loud in the background, so please excuse the noise. I might have to pause this video several times as well, as they always like to come in when I'm doing readings as well. So this is our love readings. The basis of this readings is going to be with obviously love cards and they are um, romance angel cards but I also am using for the rest of the reading my own cards got a few more decks delivered that I've um, what am I looking for what's the word that I have made and they finally came and I've got a whole heap more coming so looking forward to doing readings with just my own decks in the future so but we've got my OG deck which is my original deck and I've had this at the beginning and how cute are these they are mini, but they are so cute. We have the Blonde Psychic Positive Affirmations deck, which we're going to be finishing off the reading with. This is based on the little engine that could, that story. Such a cute story. Full of positive quotes and sayings. And then we have the Action deck, which will give us any time frames. Let me just focus in on that. Time frames or anything we need to know about your love life. And also my Lovers deck the lovebirds there so get some more a real in-depth look at your love life for the month of july i am doing a cluster so in fire air um earth and water but i will put time stamps to individuals timings below all right also doing finishing the reading off with letters okay let's get stuck into the reading so these are for my fire signs um we'll start with aries so, what does Aries hold for July? What, 2020, July 2020? What is Aries' love story? Let's take a look into the romance love of our Aries people. Archangel Michael and Victoria, can we please have some love and advice? Some cards. The love story for our Aries folks, please. See if I can get any channeled messages as well. If I go quiet. Because I'm getting channeled messages as well. Here's a good shuffle. Oh, we'll take them three because they wanted to flip out. I won't actually flip over. So we'll take them three. I want to grab about five cards just to see what your love story is. These are mini. Depends how long they go. I don't have a time frame set for these, but they'll go as long as they go for. Two more cards, please, for Aries for July 2020 for their love reading, please. Thank you. Well, we'll take them both. They both wanted to come out. So let's see what your love story is, Aries. Okay, just let me have a look at this. Okay. Getting a story here. Wow. Wow. Okay. Putting these in order, guys. Interesting cards here. So Aries, I feel like some of you have just broken up or come out of a recent um, breakup that will come out of a breakup recently because your first card is release your ex. Now, if you've come out of a breakup, the time has come to clear your energy. So you, some of you are still holding on to that energy of your ex. Maybe they were true love. Maybe you felt a strong, strong connection to them. You need to release your ex in order to move on to the to your next future partner. There's always someone new for us. Remember that. If you're like holding on to this person and their energy, time to release that so the universe can bring in your next true love. Ways of releasing that is meditating, cleansing bath. There's one on my channel if you haven't um, seen my channel. Explore my channel. There's some healing on there and some ways of releasing. But meditation is good. Releasing the energy, cord cutting, manifestation. Um, but releasing your energy to the moon or to the water or to nature or just simply reaching out and talking to the universe and asking that energy to be removed. Lots of different ways there guys but it's important for you to begin with it, releasing the energy of your ex or the person that's rejected you or whatever is stopping you from moving on to finding your love okay. Next card is love, you love yourself first. 
Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So once you guys have taken the time and released the energy of your ex, it's time to focus on yourself. You might not need long to focus on yourself because you do have a lot happening in your life for your love life. But you've got to take some time and do some, some healing and meditation to love yourself first. Why do you do this? Just meditate. Ask good things to come into your life. Cleanse, release and manifest a better life for yourself. Do things you, you enjoy. Go for a run. Go for a walk. Walk your dog. Connect with your family and friends. Go get a pedicure. Whatever it is you need to do for yourself, do it. And just enjoy time alone and get to know yourself and love yourself again. The universe is also saying it's also it's safe for you to love. So you will be releasing and manifesting manifesting. Why can't I speak? Manifesting a new love. It is safe for you to love. The universe is telling you it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. It's saying you do have to do the work first and release the old energy to receive the new. But it is okay to love and to begin to love yourself. Remember, until you love yourself, the universe won't give you anyone else to love because until you love yourself and complete and whole within yourself, you're not going to move on to this new love that is clearly waiting for you. And it's happening in July as well. So you do, you've got a lot going on in July, Aries. A lot of healing, a lot of releasing, a lot of self-focus. But new love is also coming. I feel like this is towards the end of July. New love is coming. I feel like you may already know this person, but clearly the angels are sending you new love. Look, look at the angels in that card. Let me focus. Look at the angels in that card. They have someone in mind for you. New love is coming. This is, I feel like it's divine timing it's meant to be. Even if you are in a relationship and it's happy and it's content, you may get, you know, just step up or take a different path. Um, romantically make it proposed to or move in together or just there might be a new energy about your new love life take it either way okay new love a new person has stirred your romantic feelings a lot of you this will be for you singles could be for people in couples as well but someone new could stir your romantic feelings new love is coming whether it be new, new um, stages in your romantic life or new love altogether Chemistry. You have intense chemistry with this person. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. As I said before, it's a divine connection. It's meant to be. This person is being sent to you by your angels and by the universe. And you have this instant magnetic pull to them. And it's like the universe has sent them to you. They're like waiting for you to do the work so they can send you this person to love again. And it is a true love for you. This is the romance of a life, like, lifetime. This is true love for you. This is the universe sending you true love. Only once you release and let go of the past energy do, will you get your true love. Okay. Interesting. There's a lot going on for our Aries people. Let's just get some extra oracle advice from my blonde OG deck. If you want to buy any of these decks as well, the link will be below for you to buy these decks. Got a lot of my rose quartz crystals out, um, my cleansing crystals, so lots of love happening. Look, my rose, I don't know if you can see that, my rose quartz statue, really pretty. I'll um, bring it over so you guys can see it. Beautiful rose quartz statue there, rose quartz in the middle. So lots of love energy happening in the room tonight. Okay, Aries, extra messages for Aries, please. Okay, what have we got here? I want to get some more. Okay, oracle cards for Aries. Okay, we got... Exactly. So, take your time to think. Be cautious. So, as I said, in the beginning of Ma of July, I'm going to say May then, I don't know why. Take your time. Think. Be cautious. Think about you, what you really want. Manifest it to happen. Do the healing work. Ask the universe what you really want and it will you will be received. Follow your dreams. Again, putting the work into yourself first, loving yourself first, reminding you to follow your own dreams and don't forget about yourself in the process. And look at all them cards just fell down. And your life will be successful no matter whether you're by yourself or in love. Your life is going to be a success. 
Your life is what you, you make it out to be, whether you're alone or with someone, but you are going to be with someone. You're going to meet someone new or you're going to step up into a new level in your relationship, existing relationship. And creative soul. If you're creative, the person you meet is creative, may meet in a creative way. Definitely some creative aspect um, for your love life. May take you on a creative date, even. All right, let's get some action words and some more love advice. And we've got the focus palm so we can um, see what you need to focus on. So what we're going to do, we're just going to spread these out, give them a bit of a shuffle, see what wants to come out. Now take what, remember, take what resonates. Um, this is the action deck, so this is going to tell you what's going to be happening in your love life. This is based in July, but um, could be talking about future as well. So we're just going to see what wants to come out and um, what messages the universe wants to send you. Okay, I reckon that's enough for our action. Um, and love messages, let's have a look. What I love about the focus palm is whatever lands in there is um, what you really need to focus on. These cards are so tiny, they're hard to shuffle. All right. Let's have a look at, um, we'll finish it off with a positive affirmation, but I want to get some letters for you guys too. Now these letters could be your initials, their initials, their star sign, where you could meet initials of where you could meet them through. All the possibilities here for initials. Let's have a look. Okay. So we've got a H, a K, a Y, an L, and an E. So again, Earth sign. Hell, so it's hell, help, heli, lek, kelly. So we've got kelly, kelly hut, so k e l y h, star signs, initials, places you could meet, or people you may meet through. Okay, take your focus palm away for a minute. So action cards we got february soon so you're going to meet this person soon maybe let it go educate yourself more wow interesting we got them so february is going to be a significant date for you guys maybe it's your birthday or their birthday um, but you are an Aries, so that was a really blonde thing to say, wasn't it? So maybe it's their birthday, guys, because you're an Aries. That was a really silly, blonde thing to say. Maybe they, or you could even um, go somewhere fun in February, but something significant to do with February. And look at these cards. It's really funny you got these cards. Let it go. What did I say at the start of your reading? You've got to release your ex. You've got to let it go. Universe is telling you twice there. And educate yourself more. Again, the universe telling you to manifest the life you want, concentrate on yourself, love yourself first, educate on what you really want in a relationship first. You also got maybe, maybe, soon and go. July is your month. Maybe you need to let go and you need to let go soon. Soon you're going to fall into a new love. But quite a lot of um, love messages here you got so this new person you meet is going to be an intense relationship because it is a past life love so you've known them in a past life or it may even be a past life love that comes back into your life you're going to have intense sexual relationship together oh it's going to lead to marriage wow very lustful relationship and you're going to have an intense honeymoon phase. Maybe that's where that sexual relationship comes in. In the um, sexual relationship comes in the honeymoon phase. Now in your focus palm, you got sugar mama. This person may, be, um, may earn more money than you or they're mature and older. Now I think this is talking about your ex. 
narcissist not for you i'm feeling that's more like to do with your ex and you know it wasn't for you so you walked away from them january also relevant could be their birthday could be significant date that um something special happens for you uh breathe and rethink again talking about your ex so breathe and rethink your situation release that ex where you can move on and sooner rather than later it's going to happen sooner rather than later exciting cards and exciting messages for our um for july for our aries people all right let's finish the reading off with a positive affirmations card from my positive affirmations deck the little engine that could if you don't know that book read it to your children just read it to yourself it's a fun positive message about an engine that couldn't get up a hill and eventually he did see what the universe wants to tell you to finish off your reading for love for july 2020 well you got two limit your always and your nevers you're probably thinking i'm never going to meet someone i'm never going to fall in love again what what was me you will meet someone new it's going to happen so limit your always and your nevers change your mind change the way you think and it's going to happen and the universe also wanted to tell you you are never too old to set another goal or dream sorry you are never too old to set another goal or to dream another dream and you got that twice you got your dreams are going to be successful from my og deck i've been told twice now to dream maybe you dream of this person but they are coming into your life so just let go of the past concentrate on yourself and give in to what the universe is going to send you okay thank you so much for watching guys i hope you enjoyed this reading um let me know in the comments if you liked it and if it resonates okay take care bye bye leo welcome to your july 2020 love reading we're telling your love story for july 2020 i apologize if there's banging or barking or noise in the background i have kids i have dogs if you watch my channel you will know this we are going to start with your love story we're going to move on to some oracle cards and we're going to move on to some extra love messages action messages letters and finish it off with a positive affirmation from my new decks all right let's see what the universe wants to tell leo for their love life for july 2020. what's your messages for leo thank you Kenji michael my ancestor victoria what do we want to tell my leos i'm a leo so i'm excited for this reading I don't really think you should cross watch i mean you can see what your partner is but i think we get one star sign we're born under one star sign so should we should just watch one star sign you know how many cards is that oh, i really want five cards that's four okay one more please or we'll take what we can get for leo you want to give me three okay leo you've got a story happening for july and it's a big one let's see what it's about turn my chair sorry guys so i can get a bit more comfortable all right let's have a look at your love cards oh interesting you got re release your ex as well the same as um aries got released their ex maybe you're dealing with an aries okay so a couple of things going on here for july let me start with um religious factors some of you are spiritual and by spiritual i mean it doesn't have to be a church remember i say in all my videos there's lots of different meanings to the word spiritual empaths just love nature good listeners um different religion lots of different meanings to the word spiritual but there are spiritual issues um impacting your love life at the moment something's not meshing there are spiritual factors interfering in bringing you happiness maybe you met someone and they're of a different culture you've got to heal this spiritual issue or work it out with each other in order to move on and have a successful relationship okay that's one message another message is healing family issues i feel like there's family stuff going on and you're not putting effort into your relationship it's taking your um whatever's happened in the past with your family maybe your mom and dad divorced and you don't believe in love Something to do with family issues or breakdown or communication breakdown is stopping you from taking a leap of 
sleep of faith and moving into a next phase of a relationship. So you've got to heal not only the religious factors, but you've got to heal the um, family issues as well. Could be doing to do with kids, custody, um, exes, because we also got here release your ex. So you've got three. Sorry, I feel like you guys have got some issues. Three major issues. Remember, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. But you've either got spiritual, religious factors, healing family issues, or releasing your ex. So it's shown up in your reading that you have some issues going on. And these need to be healed in order to move on with love in July. Okay? You really need to put the work in. Face this issue, issue head on. Clean it. Cleanse it from your world. Try and... Just deal with it, you know. So it's do some work on your shadow self. Do some work with the people involved. And if they can't, you know, raise, rise to your vibration and level, just move on, you know. If they are family, you can't control other people. You can only control yourself and your feelings and thoughts and actions. If they're not going to forgive you, if they're not going to um, come to the party in a sense, let it go. I know it's hard when it's your family. But just let it go. Whatever that's no longer serving you, just let it go. That's the clear message I'm getting here. Oh, can you stop? Sorry, that's my teenage son playing Fortnite. Told you there would be a noise. Kids are dogs in this house. Kids are dogs. Okay, back to the reading. Clear message here from the universe. Tackle your issues head on. If it's not serving you anymore, let it go, okay? Keep an open mind, though. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate might, di might differ from your usual type and expectations. I feel like you guys, this is usually um, directed at romantic love, but I feel like the universe is bringing you guys a message about family and friends and exes. So you guys have got a message about family and friends and exes, not just romantic love. So it's telling you to really work out, work on the, or try and work on these issues. Which is very surprising. But love comes in many forms. So it's coming to you in the form of not a romantic message at the start of your reading. But you've got these issues going on. So it's saying try and resolve it. Try and be the bigger person. Try and stay level-headed. Keep an open mind about the situation. Or just let it go. Clear message there about your love life. But love life has many different versions of love so love is children love is family love is animals even like you love your pets and love is your romantic partner so you're not getting just a romantic message in this reading you're getting family ex and friendship as message okay doesn't serve you anymore let it go keep an open mind try and resolve the issue but if it's not serving you any purpose let it go okay but feel like this is thick talking about family or friendship you will resolve the issue with them and you get to know each other again you're healing a friendship or a family relationship this month something that's killed you like haven't I feel like you haven't spoken to this person in a while so this is not a romantic um this is not a romantic connection I'm talking about this is family or friendship it's getting healed you're reconnecting, getting to know each other again, having a good old gossip session, coming back into your life, and you're like so always happy to have them back in your life once again. And now we're getting into your romantic relationship. I feel like a lot of you have partners or will meet someone that's amazing, and there's a real soul connection there. Your current partner, you've had a past life relationship with them. You've known them in a past life and dated them in a past life. Could have been talking about an ex that you reconnect with, coming back into your life. Very passionate, very beautiful reconnection. Or if you've got a current partner, I feel like a lot of you Leos watching this, you have a current partner and you have known them in a past life and it is a beautiful, strong, powerful connection like magnets drawn together. And a lot of you, like I said, will meet someone or an ex will come back in and it's like a honeymoon phase again. Exploring each other, getting to know each other again, reconnecting, sexual passion, just having a beautiful time together. 
So it wasn't really romantic for you guys. Only two cards were really romantic. But a lot about healing. A lot about a reconnection with a family or friend member for you guys, Leo. Reconnection. Beautiful time at the end of July. Reconnecting with an ex or your current partner and just enjoying them thoroughly. But big message there about healing a relationship with a loved one. That for some of you will be successful and you will get back together and... Um, they will come back into your life. But for some of you, I see it not working out and you will let them go and they will move on. And it's not working out. That's interesting. I don't think I've done a love reading before where the love message has been focused at family or friendship. It's been always focused on their partners. I think one of my children wants to come in. Someone's knocking. Hang on. Sorry, guys. My daughter wanted to play PlayStation. She's in my room. See what I mean? When I do readings, they just all want to just bug me. It's really annoying. I can never get alone time to do these. It's so hectic. All right, messages for our Leos, extra messages for their love messages. Yeah, it's, it, as I was saying, it's interesting you guys got love messages aimed at your family and friendships, not so much a romantic um, life. Very interesting. I don't think I've ever done a love reading and that message has come through. Maybe a lot of Leos need to hear that. Getting a lot of similar cards to Aries though. So a lot of my Leos are creative people. A lot of musicians, artists, um, spiritual people. Maybe for some of you do tarot. I feel like a lot of you are in the creative industry or you'll be doing something creative in July. Maybe you do something fun and reconnect with this person. A lot of you um, need to discover self-love. Do something that you'll enjoy. Boat ride. Why am I hearing boat ride? Some of you are literally traveling on a boat or going out on the water in a boat and taking a boat wow. ride. Okay, that's a teenager having a tantrum. Oh. I'm recording. Well, everyone's going to hear you now. I don't care. That's the joys of having teenagers that play video games and have tantrums, guys. You're going to hear it. You've heard it. I can't erase that. It's happened, all right? Anyway, this is real life. I told you, kids are dogs. Kids are dogs. Self-love is messy. Do something fun for yourselves. Pedicure. Go for a bike ride. Play the PlayStation. Whatever you want to do and enjoy, you need to do it for yourself in July. And deep think and manifest it will happen. Whatever your dreams and desires and wishes, what you, whatever you want in this life are going to happen. Going to come true in July for my Leos. Okay. Extra messages here. Let's see what... You need to focus on for July. Can't get over that tantrum. See how loud teenage boys are? It's ridiculous. This is my action deck. So we'll get an in-depth um, look at your love life action for July. See what messages want to come through. It's really hard to shuffle, but whatever will come through is meant for you guys. Okay, that's quite a lot, so we're going to take just, that's enough. That's quite a lot for that then. Quite a lot of action words for July. For your love life. Extra love messages since we didn't get any romantic. Oh, you got past life love twice, guys. So, either reconnection with an ex or the person you're with, you have a deep soul connection with already. Or you're going to be meeting someone and you have an instant magnetic attraction to them. Whoa. That's a lot. You guys are getting a lot of messages through now. There's some letters. Oh, literally got rock. R-O-K. This person is your rock. That's really cute. R-O-K. They're your rock. They're your soul. They're your person. You discover your person. That's really cute. You also got a J, a G, L, and a Q. Initials. Um, I don't think we got any star signs there or um, elements. Uh, ocean maybe. So water signs could be connected. Could be also initials and months that you meet or um, places where you meet. 
what else? Or people and issues of people you meet through. But rock, that was really cute. That was the first words that fell out, rock. Okay. We'll do action words first. So February is relevant to, um, could be your partner's birthday, the person that you meet. Within four and five years, something relevant happens for you guys within four or five years. And you also got plant the seeds. Plant the seeds for your beautiful future together. Plant the seeds. So it talks about, you know, still working. And it talks um, a lot about what we said in the start of your love reading. Plant the seeds. You can work on this um, relationship. It will grow. It will turn into something beautiful and nourish. You just have to put in the work and plant the seeds and let it work. Put in the work to make it succeed. So February, five and four years is relevant for you guys. You also got lots of love messages. Oh, best friend. So maybe you had a fallout with your best friend. Literally could be a best friend returning into your life. In love. A lustful sexual relationship with this with your partner. You have a very good um, intense sex life. Very lustful. They lust after you. And it's very intentional. Oh my god, intensive sexual relationship. They are your true love and your twin flame. Wow, the person you meet, your ex coming back into your life, or the person you're currently with is your true love and your twin flame. Can focus on that. True love, twin flame. Beautiful. I told you it's intense. They're your rock. Again, twice we've got past life love. Past life love. Ooh, player. But then it landed right next to no. So maybe you have some um, insecurity issues because it's like let it go underneath that. Educate yourself. Clear message there, guys. You maybe have um, some trust issues. If it is someone from the ex and it says you think that they're a player, they're not, let it go and educate yourself more. This person loves you. They're not going to hurt you. They're not going to break your heart. Clear message from the universe there. Okay? Let it go. Let it go. Right, let's finish Leo off with a positive affirmations card from my Little Engine That Could deck. If you haven't read the book, go get it. Little Engine That Could, beautiful story, positive story. Read it to your kids. Read it to yourself. It's just a beautiful, uplifting story. You got two cards again as well. So did Aries. All right, let's read what the universe wants to tell you. Let us make our future now and let us make our dreams tomorrow. Re tomorrow's reality. Focus. Let us make our future now and let us make tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow's dreams reality. Work towards your goals, work towards what you want, never give up on your dreams, make your dreams reality. Live in the now, live in the present. It's great to dream for the future, but always live in the present and come back to the present moment, okay? Another message the universe wants to tell you if I cannot do great things, I can do small things in a great way. Maybe some of you are striving for big, extravagant, extravagant, beautiful, um, grand things in your life. Maybe you want more money. Maybe you want an $800 handbag. Maybe you want a love you can't attain. Whatever's meant to be ours will be ours. Oh, my ears ringing. That means my angels are in my ear telling me I'm on the right track. I'm doing the right thing by delivering these messages to you guys. Anyone who gets an ear, like a giant buzz in their ear or a ringing sound in their ear, that's your angels telling you, you're on the right track. You're doing the right thing. I heard a beautiful quote yesterday saying um, from my Butterfly Oracle deck and another deck that I made. And it said that um, when God is happy with your work, he sends um, animals to show you a sign. Or And it said like, what's it saying? When God is happy with the work you're doing, he sends animals to show you that he's impressed or something like that. I have to get the deck out and have a look. But it was a beautiful saying like that. And it shows relevance that, um, you know, I'm on the right track and you're on the right track. So with the angels coming to visit us through this reading, it just shows that you guys are on the right track. You are meeting someone very important to you or someone important is coming into your life. And it's meant to be, okay? I feel privileged, Leo, that the angels visited you during this reading and gave a confirmation 
that your love life is going to burst with abundance okay thank you so much for watching please comment let me know what you thought about this reading like subscribe and share and i look forward to connecting with you soon bye bye sagittarius welcome to your love reading for july 2020 um i'm telling the story of your love life what you can expect to happen um for july 2020 using um, romance angels cards then i'm using the rest of the decks that i'm using are my um love psychic decks if you'd like to purchase these they are linked below okay so let's get into your reading for july 2020 just had the angels visit um visit us for leo's reading i wonder if they're going to pop up in your reading it's a beautiful moment beautiful connection absolutely smile from ear to ear in that reading it's a beautiful reading a beautiful message for leo go and watch it even if you're not a leo go and watch it it's a beautiful message excuse my um teenage son having a meltdown playing his video game but as you watch my channel as you should know the noises in the background are always kid or dogs always loud on my channel all right sagittarius let's get a message for your love life for july 2020 let's have a look I'm getting a lot of similar cards i'm just taking a look at your cards and your energies first some of you are having trust issues what's going on sagittarians okay so trust issues trust has come up starting with this one a lot of you have been burnt in the past and you find it hard to trust um somebody so maybe somebody's trying to come back into your life or you just find it hard trusting people in general because you've been burnt in the past the situation is calling for you to have faith have faith that they're not going to hurt you again or have faith have trust that the universe is going to send you something good someone amazing you need to forgive and let the past go in order to move on and have an amazing future okay in love it's saying let your friends help you maybe your friend has something to do with this trust situation maybe you just need to speak to your friends have a good gossip session about letting it go maybe your friend gives you advice on how to let it go ask for ask for and accept support from others so talk to your friends about it if they're your good friends they already know about it just talk to them help them and help you release it or you know just take your mind off it if you're going through a breakup or something um just enjoy your friends let your friends help you through the situation always talk to people remember there's always people that love and will help you out there okay but the universe is saying stay optimistic about your love life positive thinking and faith will bring you romance so again don't jump into another relationship straight away if you have recently broken up or you still have trust issues you've got to clear all the past from the all the junk from the past in order to move into something new but stay optimistic release cleanse manifest something new to come in do it in that exact order release manifest sorry cleanse what did i say i don't even remember what i say now i'm so blonde release manifest <laughs> mercury retrograde is getting to me so cleanse release and meditate and oh, i've tried to say this how many times now release cleanse so release the past cleanse your energy meditate and cleanse your energy and manifest the future and the kind of new kind of love that you want i don't know why i couldn't say that why was that so hard for me to say all right a lot of you guys are worried about finances and career financial issues are a factor in your love life right now i feel like this isn't um talking about a partner though this is talking about yourselves you're worried you don't have enough money to support yourself or you're in the right place career wise or you're even worried about career and finances way too much at the moment and putting a lot of effort just into career and finance and you're not even focusing on your love life this could be something i just had a vision of someone like right in front of your face that you're not seeing who is it there's someone literally like right there in front of your face that's madly in love with you and you're not seeing them because you're too focused on career and finance it's like a little mouse running into a hole this person is there yep here come the angels again my ears are ringing whenever your ears ring we get a ringing in your ears it means your angels are there they're confirming there's someone out there right in front of your eyes and you're not seeing who it is who is it 
You're too focused on career and finance. You're not seeing this person. Oh, it's ringing. Okay, you need to keep a lookout for this person that's right in front of your eyes. Look, this could be the one. Look at those angels up there dancing above this couple. Not very focused. Can you see it there? Look. Look at the angels. As I say, angels are here. Angels are here. This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. Oh my God, fuck me dead. Sorry for swearing, guys, but if that's not confirmation, there's someone right in front of your eyes that you're not seeing, then I'm a brunette because I just said that and this card confirmed it and I hadn't even read this card. My God, the person you seek is right in front of your nose. Look for them. They're there. They're making it very obvious, but you're too into yourself to even notice that they're there. Wow. You do notice finally towards the end of July and you do get to know this person. You go on dates, you have fun. You realise, you can't realise how stupid you've been. As you reveal the innermost, your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. See? You already had a bond with this person. But now you're aware that they're interested because you watch this reading and you're like, wow, I know who it is. You open yourself up, you get to know each other and it's a beautiful journey that you go on. And look, it's like a honeymoon phase. You get to know them. Honeymoon fades, lust. Lots of sex, lots of fun. Beautiful ending to your July. Once you get your, your ass, what's the, what's the saying? Once you get your head out of your own ass and see what's right in front of your nose. Sorry I'm so rude, but it's like you just got rose-coloured glasses on and you're just into yourselves, but this person is there all along. They're right in front of you. Right in front of you. Whoa. Whoa, that was... Wow. Sagittarius. You're very lucky. Creative comes up in three of my readings. So maybe you work in a creative field, maybe they're creative, but you meet in a creative way. Some of you are very creative, artsy people. I'm fe feeling a lot of advertising, PR, events, something like that. Self-love. You guys got a message that you need to take time out and stop being so into yourself. But do something that you enjoy. Get out in July and do something you enjoy. Too much work in Korea. Too much work. Need to enjoy yourself. This is where this creative card comes in as well. Get out. Have fun. Get creative. Get into nature. Have fun. Go on a hike. Go on a walk. Go with this new person. Wow. This person, you get a new beginning in love. Pregnancy or birth. She could be a warning that you even have. Remember I just said honeymoon stays and lots of sex. Have protective sex if you don't want to get pregnant because look pregnancy and birth some of you may literally get pregnant from meeting this person but it is a very strong connection they are your twin flame they have been under in your in front of your face i feel like i can't talk but <laughs> they have been in front of your face this whole time look for them they are your twin flame it is a deep intense soul connection all right let's do some extra messages from the universe using my all my new decks. We've got my action deck. And we've got positive affirmations deck. And we've got my lovers deck. If you want to order any of these decks, the link will be below, okay? Any more messages for my Sagittarius's that they need to know? Let us know. Sagittarius, what messages can we give them about their love life? Well, you've got lots of messages there, actually, so we'll leave it at that. Love messages. The Saggies. What are you guys, Saggies? Do you like it? Do you hate being called Saggies? I feel like those two wanted to come out, so we'll take them. We'll also get you some letters. Okay, what did you get? You got an S. Take the focus palm out. You got an S, T, P, Q, V, C. S, T, P, Q, V, C. 
could be a Cancer, could be a Pisces, um, Capricorn. So star sign, element, your initials, their initials, the month they were born, the month you were born, place you meet, or um, person you meet through. So we've got, what have we got? What can we spell? It feels like stop. Stop. See, stop being so into yourself. Stop and you'll see the person that's in front of you. All right, we'll start with the action cards. So we've got give it some more time. See, give it some more time for this love to develop. Breathe and rethink because that's what I said. You're too, too much into yourself. You need to breathe, rethink and see this person's right in front of you the whole time. Sooner rather than later. Once you watch this and you think about who it is, you'll make, you'll, it'll just go. See, it's going to... Slowly. Your love life's been slow because you're too into yourselves. Sorry for being so harsh, guys, but a lot of you are into yourselves and not seeing this person is right under your nose. Plan it out before you reap the rewards. And December. Something important is happening in December. Or well, it could be the person that you meet in December. But it's saying, clearly, stop being so into yourself. Give it some time. It's going to happen sooner rather than later. But your love life has been very slow. Commitments coming. Exploring your sexuality. Some of you have been um, having some fun maybe with some people of the other sex. Maybe it is the person of the other other sex and you've been too um, scared to even go there. But this is your true love. It's twice that's come up now. You've got twin flame and true love. Okay, what did we get here? Unexpected timing. Maybe you're just scrolling through um, YouTube. You're not expecting to watch this, but you've watched it and now you've realised. And you've got lust and in love. This person has been lusting after you and is in love with you already. You're just not seeing it. All right, let's finish the reading off with a positive affirmation card. This is from The Little Engine That Could. If you haven't read the book, I suggest you read it. It's full of beautiful... Like it's a beautiful, just inspiring book full of, um, it's like an engine that doubts himself. It's like never doubt yourself. Just always believe in yourself and you'll be good. I've got two every single time. Okay. My mission in life is to merely, is, oh, I can't talk. My mission in life is not merely to survive, but to thrive. See, you're working just to survive. Money and career are important. Yes, but without love, you have nothing. You need to stop putting the focus on yourself, realise this person's there waiting for you, and then your life will thrive. You are enough just as you are. See? Don't have to worry about money and career. This person loves you as you are. You as you are. You are enough just as you are. Beautiful message there, closing the reading. I hope you liked this reading for July 2020, Sagittarius. I enjoyed doing it. Tell me what you think in the comments, um, like, subscribe and share and connect with me on my communities on Facebook and Instagram. Thank you for watching and um, I look forward to reading for you again. Bye bye.